today we're going to go over um, notarizing a power of attorney. Now, there's not just one type of power of attorney. There are many different kinds. The kinds that you really want to do are the kinds that attorneys have already prepared. They are so much easier than these ones that you got to fill out. But ultimately, when you have the ones that are blank, they're free for a person to do. So you got to do what you got to do. Here we go. So once again, in this space, you're going to go ahead and put whatever the date is. So the 8th, the 10th, the 12th, whatever it is, and put your TH. That's your notarial language. And you're going to put your month and don't forget your year. Now, if it's just a blank, do not just put 22. You need to put 2022. Here, you're going to write the person's name. The person that's there that's signing over their power to another person. The person who's showing you their identification. So, you'll put their name here. And it'll right here, it'll say principal of, you'll put Hillsborough County. Just like if you were doing a different um, document, it would say state of Florida, county of Hillsborough. Same thing. So you'll put Hillsborough County here. You'll put Florida. And then you're going to put the person that you're giving your power to. So that will be whoever it is that you are giving the power to make decisions for you. And once again, that person lives in what county? Hillsborough County. What state? State of Florida. Okay. And then when it comes to all of these initials, you're going, that person who showed you their ID, they're going to initial everything that they agree with, whatever it is that they want to give that person power over. So if it's their banking, so they would read it and decide if, in fact, they want to give that power over. Now, if you're dealing with someone that's a little older and you verify that they know what they're signing, and what's going on, you might need to read this out to them. Other than that, you can basically go through and let them look at it and whatever they want, they'll go ahead and initial their initials. So if this up here, if they wrote three names, Tamika, Tasha Miller, you, they're gonna initial TTM. But because that person wrote only two, the first and the last name, that's what the initials are gonna look like. So they're going to go through and see exactly what it what goes with what they're, they're trying to do. So whether it's managing property or any kind of accounts or real estate, whatever it is. And like I said, there are several kinds of power of attorneys. And so a lot of them you can have like the fill-ins where you can just kind of put anything extra that's not on here. So you see where it says special instructions? So if that person wanted to say, hey, this person can do X, Y, Z for me, that's where it would go if it's not on here already. So you would just keep going by. Let's see. And then you would come down here. And the principal is the person that is actually doing the document. So they would write the eighth day of July and they're not going to probably know what to put in these spaces but that's where you come in you're going to let them know hey you put a here you put the month and you put the year so they'll they'll sign there and once they sign you need two witnesses in the state of Florida the law requires that you have two witnesses and you as a notary cannot be one of them the witnesses cannot be related to the person that's signing so if they're giving, so no mom, no dad, no kids, cousins, neighbors, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, all of that's fine. No immediate family can witness this. And I say that because first it's the law and second, because if this ever goes to court, they're going to say that this is invalid. And so whatever they said, it's null and void. So here we go. So the witness is going to go ahead and sign there and they're going to put their address there. And then the next witness is going to sign there and put their address there. And then now you're going to notarize that that person, it, they signed and that the witness is signed. So you're certifying that you saw all of that right here. And so once again, Florida, you're going to put your county. 
you're going to not forget to check this physical box because nowadays you can do online notarization. So this is saying, hey, they physically were in front of me. So don't forget that little box. You're going to put the date once again. And remember, by is the person that is signing the document. If that, instead of by, if it said me, then your name would go there. But because it says by, the person that's signing that document name is going to go there. And it's saying that they personally appeared before me. But, and then you're going to put here what kind of identification this person showed you to prove that they are who they say they are. Now, you're going to keep going. And as a notary, you're going to sign your name. You're going to put your um, expiration date of your commission. And you're going to stamp. And you'll keep going. And then here, this is the person that was given the power. So whoever you gave the power to, this is them accepting power to do whatever you asked them to do, to be in charge. So you'll put that person's name there and they would sign here accepting that, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to do right by this person. I'm going to do what they need me to do. So now you're going to verify that that person signed it. So you're going to go ahead and get all of this information. And this person here, remember in the very beginning, you need to see the person who's signing the documents. You need to see everybody's identification that's going to be signed in this document to verify they are who they say they are. Because this could very well go to court. And you will be held responsible for what's on this document. So once again, you're going to make sure you check physical. You're going to put the date. And we're going to put make sure it's 2022 and not just 22. You're going to put the um, identification that was shown, your signature, your stamp, and your commission. And that is it. So this was only five pages. And it's not as hard as you think it is. Ultimately, don't say what you can't do. Get in there and just try it. When I started out, I started out not knowing how to notarize anything, to be completely honest. I just took every appointment and I figured it out as I went. And I honestly couldn't find anywhere where you could go and click on somewhere on YouTube and find a person going through all of these different documents. So I just kind of guessed and, and hoped for the best. And after about two years, now I got it. <laughs> so... Thank you so very much for taking the time to come and there are going to be many, many more documents to come.